In the last year, Bitcoin has soared from approximately $8,000 to $56,000. That's a seven times increase in value. And some people say Bitcoin is going to a million dollars. This video is part of a multi-part series on Bitcoin that I'm doing on this channel. In the previous video, I gave you five additional pros of owning Bitcoin. In this video, I'm gonna give you five additional cons. You're watching more money, let's get it. What's up everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new, I'm Tay, a 20 year veteran of the investment game. I provide a ton of sound and well thought out financial content. To make sure that you don't miss anything, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and of course, smash that like button so that YouTube knows that this channel provides valuable content. And let's get right into it. The first con is that there's an inherent financial risk of holding this asset. Because Bitcoin is so volatile at the moment, adopting Bitcoin makes financial statements of any company that adopts it much more volatile. That volatility only adds risk to the financial system. Explained in another way, if more and more treasury departments convert cash to Bitcoins, their balance sheets become inherently more volatile and thus their shares will become more and more volatile to reflect that balance sheet volatility. This will actually reduce the predictability of the markets because right now when we value companies we assume a relatively stable currency and discount gradual inflation and that's not a good thing the reduced predictability of a company's balance sheet will absolutely increase their cost of capital the stock market just doesn't like unpredictability and in order for the cost of capital for these companies to increase their share prices have to come down so now I gotta ask what CEO and CFO would want to take this risk and in fact, a survey has already been done. 85% of financial executives don't see Bitcoin as a valid investment in its current state. The only guys that would take on Bitcoin at this moment are those that one, are those who are using Bitcoin as part of the experience and brand. And two, those that are using Bitcoin to earn dollar denominated fees, such as credit card, PayPal, ETFs, and custodians. The second con of owning Bitcoin is that you're vulnerable to cyber attacks. One thing that's a bit unusual with Bitcoin is that hacking is actually encouraged because it makes the overall system stronger. But that's a double-edged sword because if you yourself are hacked, you end up losing your own Bitcoin. If you keep your Bitcoins on an exchange, the exchange can also be hacked. So you never really have the same sense of security as you do with a fiat currency and the modern banking system. Now these are massive flaws and unless they're corrected, I personally don't see Bitcoin being mass adopted. The third con of owning Bitcoin is that due to the decentralized nature of cryptology, it is possible for the entire network to get hacked. Now before I continue, I have to say that the experts are noting this as something that is as close to impossible as it can be. But if a computer can get powerful enough to be able to crack cryptology, it can render the whole Bitcoin system useless. Now, how can this be done? Well, honestly, it would be very hard, but if you have a computer or chain of computers powerful enough to hack all the millions of computers that have written the Bitcoin blockchain, you can theoretically rewrite the code and take all the Bitcoin. The problem with this is that it would render the confidence in Bitcoin nil, and thus the value would fall to zero. Therefore, there is zero monetary advantage for doing this, and thus it's very impossible or something like this to happen. However, I still have to mention it. The fourth con of owning Bitcoin and it's possibly the most relevant for most users is that if you lose your password, it could be lethal. We have all seen news articles of people who have lost their passwords and have lost millions of dollars of cryptocurrency. And let's be real guys, the average person is a bit of a dummy. So this risk needs to be resolved and be made dummy proof if Bitcoin is gonna be adopted at a mass scale. Now, before I go into the final pro of owning Bitcoin, if I've brought to you any value from this video thus far, please smash that like button. Once again, it really helps YouTube know that this channel provides valuable content and thus they'll share it with more and more viewers. Also, my next video will be the finale of the Bitcoin series that I'm currently doing on this channel. I'm gonna actually try and value Bitcoin. So if you don't wanna miss out on that video, please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified when I upload that video. So the fifth con of owning Bitcoin is that it's susceptible to competition from corporate and sovereign cryptocurrencies. It's very hard to predict what's gonna happen in this space as it's very fast moving. Facebook tried to launch the Libra digital coin but was shut down by regulators very quickly. JP Morgan is also launching their own digital coin. Amazon, Google, and Apple are looking at launching stable coins. A stable coin is a sort of a crypto hybrid that lives on blockchains but is pegged to mainstream currencies. I don't see the value in stable coins, why not just own the dollar instead? I think those are gonna fail. There's also a threat from sovereign cryptos. The likes of China and Russia are in a position to launch the first within a couple of years. Deutsche Bank recently published a report suggesting that cryptocurrencies could overtake national fiat currencies within 10 years. And they're envisioning that these state-backed versions are the ones that are gonna lead the charge. But I have to ask, how is a state-backed cryptocurrency 
any different from a sovereign currency. I actually think this is dumb. I think sovereign currencies are gonna fail. Overall, I don't yet see the risk from corporates and sovereign right now, but that could change in the future and that's why I need to mention it as part of the five additional cons of owning Bitcoin. Now guys, if you wanna learn more, click on these links to be taken to other videos in this Bitcoin series. Thank you so much, I'll see you later.